Okay. I do this to my students one time. <laughs> On this practical, the cho tea, chocolate teapot. So oh, I'm yeah, yeah. doing the step and I make it video and they can just repeat and see it again. Oh, that's good. We that's better. It yeah. It will take time because we need to do and redo again. Yeah. yeah. But if we do this, we don't have a job. Because you see video and you answer. <laughs> okay, so the task. Can you open the task and follow? Yes. So what the task said? Can I help? So the task said, for this task, you need to make use <laughs> of a certain form of Trying to get a good look. Separate sheet functions so with look of data, in, the in the name, range, and appropriate cell length to provide a solutions. The end result will have to be tested to see that if functions and calculation calculates the prices correctly, you will need to make sure that the developer's tab is showing and make use of legacy form is simplified. So a manual check by using the Windows calculator is sufficient for this and is important to ensure that the sheet is functioning as shown in the example picture below. This is just one example to show you what to, you aim for. A picture below is shown a guide, blah, blah, blah. So where is the task? Last page. Last page. So tell the function of the pricing. Consider for two unique products, for example, use USB cable and one notebook. For each product, select test the total price calculated 10%, 20%, 30% That's correct and cost like this, so on. So can you explain? Wait, go. I was just putting the developer's table. No, go one by one from the beginning. Okay. So you can use my one. You can use my line sheet. Okay. Um, has everyone got the developer tab? Yeah. So the developer tab you get from where? So <laughs> you don't have it. Go to options. options. And then go to ribbon. Okay. Ribbon. Okay. Yes. And just click here. Okay. Uh, and then it will come out like this? So there's the developer tab there. Okay. Can you do on my, my one? Yeah, from, from start? Yeah. Um, it's easier if I can show this picture of before and then I'll, I'll make a new one here. Okay. So uh, what, how this, uh, how this come the blue one? So that's, I just went like this and I went to home and to borders and click outside borders. Okay, you select the area. Yep. And then home again and color. Are okay. you in task three, Mike? Task three, yeah. And then I just chose the color that matched. Okay, did it do it again? <laughs> they they need to see it fresh. Can you do it again? <laughs> can you be patient and go to if you can go to my one? Don't laugh. It's, this one reminds me of what the, oh, okay. what the formulas Just are. Remove remove this area. Yes. You can run before walk. Just control that, control that and then it will be there. You can then run. Nice. And you will see it. So who doesn't know how to make a border? So start by making a border, the same as in your picture. Yeah. Can you see a border here? So select the area, go to borders, click outside border <laughs> and click on this one. How many columns? Oh, we just do it like... Just do it roughly. Yeah. Mm. Okay. And, and then that gives you an area. Then in the area, choose the same color. <coughs> as the, the one that it shows you on the, the Word document. Okay, I've done the outer border. And what else? That line like a column. How did you get the first, the one on the top? Was it Don't already pre-made? We're, okay. we're doing it again at the bottom. Mm -hmm. All right. So everyone got that? No one's yeah. Stuck? Cool. Go to developer mm -hmm. and insert. Oh. And you see this one? Developer. Group box. Developer and go to insert and then uh, 
Oh yeah. Yeah. Cool. Click on that. Choose the area. Oh. Why you didn't put some color? I'll do that. Mm. Everyone done that? Yeah. And then what you want to do is you just want to have the same labels as it says on the sheet. He's not in that class. Yeah. Oh, you're not in the class. No. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Let okay. it break it. Yeah, no, no, just <laughs> the How do you find this box? Group Which box. One? Which one? Um, you Devel go to develop developer, to and then you go to insert, and then you go pick yeah. that one. Okay. To Group box. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay. Cost. Discount enable. Discount. Everyone done that? Ready for the next step? Yeah, okay. ready. No. <laughs> Who's not ready? Who needs help? Anna. Yes. So how do you put the table? Okay. Like this when you put table. Mike, how can you expand out the table? I need more space. You just drag. Just make it bigger. Can you drag through this the that group box one? Or I need the original border thing that you that we've done. You can make everything bigger. <laughs> it's not a big deal. You just go outside the box and then make it look pretty later. <laughs> oh no, no, no. That one is moving. No. I want an edge band. Make them as one cell, their cell? No. No. No, it's impossible to merge it because if you merge it, then all the text will be in one cell. Yeah. You guys ready for the next step? Yes. Okay, go into developer, insert, and you want this one at the top the combo box. Mm -hmm. And draw a nice pretty combo box about the same size as two cells. Just under the product? Yep. Just so this one from the developer tool? Yes, combo box so from developer tool. Insert. Okay. 
Two of them. No, no, just do one. Oh, the top one. one's just to remind me what we're doing. So now, if you right click on it and go to the bottom, format control. I click, right click. And you should have this control. control box. If you don't, you put the wrong box in. Uh, Everyone got uh, the control box? No, not me, my. Yeah. Right click and then go into it. There's two types of combo boxes, so you want to use the other one. If you haven't got a control, you've used the wrong one. So you want to make sure you're in here using insert, and you use this one at the top, not this one at the bottom. This one at the top. Got it now? Mm. All good? For your input range, you want to choose all of this. All the way up there. Well, actually, what you want to do is just the names. Just the names for the entire. Just the names for this one. This just this top one, input oh, range. Just, uh, <coughs> yeah. Okay, select it and then, oh, and it shows up there. For your cell link, just click on a cell down here, just outside the bottom. That way you can see what it's doing. On the top one, I've actually hidden them. You can hide it later. So just so you can see what it's doing. So this is just the range of the description. And this one here is just the cell here. Everyone got that? Yeah. yeah. Click OK. And you should get this drop down. So you can click on any one of them and it will come in. You can see here it says 2 because that's number 2 on the list. If I choose the next one down, now it says 3, 4. Awesome. You can hide that number later, but we need it for, for the information. So that shows that it's working okay if it changes number at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Everyone's changing? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay, next thing you want is the description. Um, does everyone remember what Ed did with the VLOOKUP? Yeah. So we have no. To <laughs> no. I've got a slightly different way of doing it um, Whatever's than easy. Ed does. So I typically go to formula. So Wait, click on the, the cell underneath the description. And go to formula. Click, click on formulas and click on this oh, FX. Yes. I do this because it's like cheating. If you're doing a test, this will tell you how to do it. If you do it Ed's way, you have to remember. This one will actually tell you how to do it. So you click on FX. Mm -hmm. It'll bring this up. Everyone got that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then go up here and click on all. All. Oh. And just up here, all. Mm -hmm. And then scroll down until you get to V lookup. Okay, I'll do it in the bottom. V lookup. Oh, yeah. yeah, click on, on that one. Yep, click yeah. on V lookup and then go OK. And this will do the whole thing for you. So you want to look up the value. Uh, what's that? Look up value and so this one here, yep, it's the the cell link one. This one down here. Oh, so the value the is one. four. Your table array is this whole table. So you want to look up this whole table. Table array. Whole table. All three columns. And then your column, it's one, two, three, and you're looking it up from column two. Way, way. So this is column one. Column two, column three. And you want the information, the description from column two. I miss it. What are you missing? The, the column index. The lookup value. Oh. The lookup value? Lookup value is the the number that changes. You know that one that's four? 
This one here, underneath the table. Yep, that's the one. So click on your zero then. It's just whatever you've selected. Zero mm. is fine as well. I so just click on just it. Just make sure you click that cell. Mm. Mm. And then. And then to test it, if you change here. Okay, we have to do it a second time, so you can practice a second time. Now we click on cost, formula, wait, wait. FX. Mike? Yes. Um, I'm still, um, the, the VLOOKUP, um, the column index number, what, what goes in there? Because I need to OK that one. I'm still. Index number? Yeah, for. It's two. So it's column two. Column two? Yep. So just type two. Just type two on it. And range lookup, nothing there? Nothing in range lookup. And then just okay. And just okay. So the description it shows on mine is power supply. So whatever, so whatever I select on product, it shows up on the description? Correct. Okay. So if you change this one. Oh yeah, I can see now. No drop down, it's just uh, text. The first one don't take it out. Yeah, so we move on to cost. Yep. Wait, click underneath cost, FX, and all. Uh, the lookup. For the value, we're going to click on the, the same one as before. For the tables, select everything below the titles. Don't need the titles. Wait, value. Value is all, only column B, yeah? For the value? The value is the same as before. Yeah. It's just this one underneath. Is it? Oh. And then for wait, your wait. index number, you want three because you want now the price, which is in the column three. What's in the table array? Table array is this whole lot. The whole minus, lot. minus the titles. Don't worry about the titles. Uh, okay. And the index number is three. Yeah. Change Where it to currency for your format. So just right, right click on it. Go to format cell, change it to currency, and then move it to left align, just so it's tidy. Now if you test it. Left. Uh, what, what, what? Where's the left align? Everyone's working? I have different number. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a tick box. And you want the tick box at the top here. Check box. Not this one down here, that one up here. And then... Put it down where you want it. Everyone got a checkbox? Rename it enabled, yeah? Yeah. Go to your format control and you want your cell link. So just click your cell link down here next to your other one. Click on there and how do you go to the... So click in here and then click where you want it, just next to the other number. No, no, how, did you, how did you get to the format control? Right, so right click oh, on just it. right click. Format control. Click in here, the cell link. Click down here. Click OK. When it works, it goes like this. True, false, true, false. Uh, 
Unchecked or checked or mixed? Don't change anything yet. Wait. Well, cell link, cl um, click next to the number. Oh, yeah, on that, where the force is. Yeah. yeah. No, because I'm chasing what you're doing. I'm, yeah, I'm there now. Next thing you want is this spin button from the top one, spin button. Everyone got a spin button? Yeah. So you want to change it to current value 10. Wait, wait, wait. Minimum on. value 10. Maximum value 30. 10, 10. Increment 10. 10. In your cell link, just put that next to the false. 30, 10. Or true, or whatever you've 30, got written down there. And 10. 10, 10, 10, 10. Cell link. Cell link just down here. Okay, next to four, so two, four, yeah. And then just okay. And then okay. <coughs> and test it out. Ah. Ooh. So it only, only goes up to 30 and then down to 10. Yeah? Yeah. Good. good. Next you want to do is click on a cell underneath the discount. Type in equals. This one. Equals. Divided by 100. Equal H29. Like you click on the 30? Yeah, click on the 30 or 10 or 20 or yeah. whatever you've got yeah. down there. H something and then divided by 100 yeah then enter they'll give you a funny number and mm. now you want to format it zero point something and then point uh, uh, format cell yeah and so we're formatting the cell percentage and now you can test this again percentage and then okay yep. and then go test it <laughs> ah, yeah. 10, 20, 30. Yep. And the last thing you want to do, everyone done that? Everyone working? Yeah. Mm. Is your total, this is your last thing now. Formulas, go to FX. We're just doing an if, but it's easier if you do it this way. Uh, did you click anywhere before going doing that? No? Just, just click in the total. Yeah. Oh, total. And then click on FX. Total and then equal. And no, then no, no, no equals. Just click on formula. Oh. Fx. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait. <laughs> wait. Where I'll do it the, again. Where's the Fx? So, like so click here. <laughs> click formula. Regan, stop laughing. I'm gonna go have a lay down under the desk. Okay. Click Fx. <laughs> yeah, Fx, and I'm in there, and then. Uh, go all, and go. then go down to if. Okay, if. And then okay. It'll bring this up. And what you want to do, this first one, if this cell equals true. All capitals, nothing special. Okay, on if. This one. And then okay. What's on logical test? Yep, that's what I'm doing right now, okay. if you look on the screen. The cell equal to true. Same like you're doing Java. Uh, yeah. Where does the G29 the come from? The G29 is the cell. So you click on, click on whichever is your true false. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, if it's true, then it true. is equal. this much. So click on this one. It's false. We'll get to the false. 
Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Click and then equal and then uh, uh true, true. Oh, what? Minus one. True, and then the next one. What? True. Yes. Second column is what, Mike? Which one is that? Second? Eight value. Uh, this, the second this, one. This second one, one is the value. This one. No, the middle one. Middle one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. is, the also, is also the value. It's calculating the first count. Yeah. And then just write this. <laughs> is that I-25 or is that? This piece here? Yeah. That is that cell here. Right. So the H20 is the cost. H20 is the cost? Okay. So you have to put, you click on your cost. Yeah. So you click then, on your cost. And then times. Times, and then brackets. Brackets. One minus. One minus. And then click on the, the discount over here. Okay. Percentage. Okay. And then close bracket, and then the next one. And then hit okay. And then this the one here. Bottom one is what? That's just the price, the bottom one. Just click on the price and that's it? Yeah. It's the price. Where is the price? The cost again. The cost. Oh. And then OK. Ooh. <sighs> Ooh. Cool, man. Format sale. Awesome, man. Format sale on that total currency? Just currency. Yeah, format the sale currency. Okay. Everyone's working? Yeah. So these down here, you can literally hide them wherever you want. So the easiest thing to do is just to change the text oh, into white. To white mm. And then you can't see them. You just have to make sure you don't accidentally delete them. So if you put them into the cell, into this blue area, it's, it's nice as well. So that one's not supposed to be shown. Those three are boxes. It, it doesn't matter. You you won't fail if you have them showing. It's just that's the working parts. Mm. I just put it down there so you guys can all see it nice and easy. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. This one? This one? Yeah, mine's just printing out the right thing, but actually the IA is So this on my one H two O is the H twenty is the the cost. Mm. And then for the true, it's the cost times brackets one minus then the percentage. Mm -hmm.